Okay, I am back and I'm going to show you how to hack Sonic CD for your Sega CD add-on for Genesis. And what this hack allows you to do is keep you from losing rings when hit. So when you get hit, you don't lose your rings. So we're going to open up HXD or whatever hex editor you use. And we're going to take the Sonic bin file out of your Sonic CD ISO or whatever. You got to find the ISO by yourself. We drag it in here and then we go to search or wherever you go and then replace or find and replace. You search for 33FC, Zuzu, whatever. I'll post it in the description. Replace it and then just. All you do is change the 33 FC to 6006. You click replace all and it replaces 72 occurrences of it. And now you go to file and save. And my phone's ringing. I don't know if you can hear that. But, anyways, while it's saving. And this will work on your actual Sega CD if you can burn it to a CDR or the RW. I'll make a tutorial on how to do that and basically you'll work in the emulator too so if you want to you can do that we can exit out of this now now we have a backup in our hacked file which is the sonic bin you put this in a folder with all, when you download the ISO like here with all the wave files are in wave because they have to be wave for the, for the music and then you can you go to uh you convert it to raw right here or bin or whatever and you make your queue what and stuff and then you convert it to your CD and I'll show you the result in just a minute so I'll be back okay I'm back and here we're gonna show you an example of Sonic CD hacked on my Sega CD console so we start it up. We're gonna wait for it to boot up. This is the one where it's no rings. Or not. This is burnt to a CDRW, so I don't know if the speed is gonna be the same. But see, it doesn't have. I don't have any problem with it. So it started up. There we go. I don't have any sound, just so you know, because I'm using the Commodore 64 cables, I think, for my Sega Model 1, so you don't have any audio out with those, it's just video out. So we're going to collect some rings, and as you see, I did not lose them when I got hit. This work, this hack works on all levels of Sonic CD, that's why you replace every single occurrence, because it's separate occurrence for every separate level, I think, because that's how it works, I guess. See, as you see right now, I am not losing my rings. I keep jumping on the spikes and not losing any rings. And you can collect the rings so you get even more. So this makes the game a whole lot easier and easier to get to the special stages. So I just wanted to show you a nifty little hack you could do with Sonic CD. There are more hex editing tricks, so that's it.